For most people, these activities are simple and pain-free. In fact, most of us take them for granted. But for those who have hip arthritis, even walking can be painful. Years ago, little could be done to help. Now, certain medical treatments can relieve the pain, which can include rest, medications, canes or crutches, and exercises. If this is not effective, surgery is another alternative. This program will help you understand the process of hip replacement at Marshfield Clinic by showing you the process. Together, you and your orthopedic surgeon will decide if you should have your hip replaced. The most common reasons include severe limiting pain with daily activities and or stiffness. We do surgery to reduce pain, increase ability for walking, and other daily living activities. The hip joint is essentially a ball and socket joint. During surgery, the damaged ball is removed and a new ball and socket joint is created. The new metal socket has tiny pores on its surface that allow your bone to attach to the prosthesis. The new hip stem is then inserted into your thigh bone. The stem is fixed to the bone by placing it tightly into the bone and allowing the bone to grow into the prosthesis. If the bone is too soft for this, then bone cement, which is like a grout, is used to secure the stem to the thigh bone. The ball and socket are essentially held together with your muscle tension. Your surgeon will determine the type of hip replacement based on your bone type, build, age, and other health conditions. Any surgery has risks. The risks associated with this surgery include anesthetic risks, bleeding, blood clots, infection, dislocation, fracture, thigh pain, unequal leg lengths, and nerve or vessel injury. Most of these risks are typical of any surgery. Some are related to just hip replacement. Dislocation can usually be avoided by carefully listening to the instructions that the therapist gives you. Sometimes it may be necessary to lengthen a leg to help prevent hip dislocation. A hip replacement is made from metal, plastic, and sometimes ceramic parts. So over time, it can wear or become loose from the bone to which it's attached. To help reduce these risks, you should limit heavy lifting, jumping, twisting, and refrain from running after surgery. But you can walk normally as much as you'd like. 